Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio and another edition of my 100 day project. This is the next five. This is the next five days and this is day 85. So I'm getting up there. <laughs> um, actually in reality, Monday, so this comes up on Wednesday, so last Monday, um, was day 100, and I did finish it. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> now I'm like, oh, what am I going to do next? <laughs> um, but for day 85, I am taking, these are my kind of pastel colors. I think these were muted, muted colors, like a, a challenge to make muted uh, paint colors and I did a jelly print session with them. I think I have that on YouTube somewhere if you want to see it I'll try to remember and if I don't remember remind me in the comments that I was going to post a link and I will post a link because <laughs> that's usually how it works. <laughs> I usually have a hard time uploading. I have a horrible old computer that has no memory left. It's slower than molasses. Um, so I edit on my iPad, I upload from my computer when I can, and yeah, so it's a lot of fun. Anyway, um, so I, I don't know, this one's a little different than the other ones I've done, I think. There was one other one, I think it might have been in the last batch that I did that had some white space, um, and this one has some white space. I... I didn't intend, when I started tearing the pieces, I did not intend to have it look like a stack of rocks. I was just going to have them coming from different angles to the center, but it ended up looking like a stack of rocks. <laughs> and I'm using the Distress Ink in similar colors to kind of give them a little bit of dimension so they look a little bit more rounded and more like rocks. Um, I don't do any shading to make it look like it's standing on the ground, though, so it is floating in space. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm feeling better. I don't know if you can tell. I'm still, I still have a little bit of congestion and a little bit of cough, but not too bad. Um, I get tired every once in a while, but uh, yeah, I think for the most part, the COVID is over. I would hope so. It's been a couple of weeks. <clears throat> so, yeah, I hope it's, it's done and it's on its way out. I'm just using a water brush to um, pick up this the Distress Ink and shade. And I do have this way sped up. It's hard to tell, but it is really way sped up. Um, I must move very slowly. <laughs> Um, because, yeah, I did this one really fast. This particular section, I sped it up because it took so long. And I think this is the longest one of the batch. Um, probably just all the little edging I did. And then, um, yeah, I put the little, oh, I gotta do the blue part. Then I put that little gray circle. I don't know if, if you've been watching them. If you remember that from a previous project, it was, let's see, 2047 days ago? Uh, I mean, it was day 47, not 47 days ago. It was day 47, um, where I cut that off of something, and yeah, so now I'm finally using it. In fact, um, today on Instagram, I posted, I, I'm like, I gotta keep posting. I gotta post something every day, right? To keep people interested. <laughs> I uh, posted a picture of all my scraps because I need to, uh, I've decided I've got to do something with my scraps. And I saw Kylie Koo make a book from scraps. Like she did like a, um, what do they call them, a master board where you collage stuff down. And then she just folded that up and turned it into a, a journal. Um, I thought that would be kind of fun to do that, so that is my next project. That, and I'm trying to get these all photographed so that um, I can put them in a book. That's the plan, anyway. I hope I can do it with my crappy computer. 
<clears throat> there, so I've glued my little circle down. And this is rice paper, so it's a little flimsy. So um, if the circle's a little distorted, that's why. And I decided I needed to emphasize that because it kind of... Um, since they're all muted colors, they kind of fade into each other. And I wanted it to stand out a little bit. But I just put the, I think I just put the ink on the inside of the circle and not around the outside. Um, I do do it under this little spot here just to make that a little bit darker. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so make it a little bit like a shadow. And I stick, yes, this is a rock day. <laughs> I stick that rock in the center and then I take a minute and move it around to see if I like it somewhere else. Um, but I think, yeah, it's just going in the center. <laughs> but, and yeah, I'm back with the pen. It's not dark enough yet. Got to keep going. Um, I hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, I haven't heard too much about stuff going on except for Ukraine, which is terrible. <clears throat> Alright, and I'm using my Gorilla Glue to glue that rock on. And there is day 85. And yep, I got the other ones behind it. I decided I liked that better than my yucky brown table. <laughs> So then I just picked this one. This was just cleanup, uh, cleanup paper. It had random stuff on it, colors, marks, paint. Um, and I, I have this way. I just kind of well, you. It looks like I'm trying to decide the composition, but I'm really just. I like to just do a kind of random, and see what happens. <laughs> um, so it is slightly random. <clears throat> and there we have it. I don't know, it could be the rocky cliff from Lion King. <laughs> anyway, this one's really simple because there's so much going on on this piece of paper that I just glue it down and then we're going to get our piece of nature out and uh, add it to it. So I get this down and I'm not sure that I'm loving that big black streak. like right after I've done it. <laughs> I guess I could have found some paper, but I just decide to grab one of my um, larger dried leaves, leaves and yeah, we're going to go with that and put it right on top. I decide as well that it needs to stand out so I'm using some color flash I pull out some is it color flash um, it's like color shifting paint in yellow and in black and we're gonna make sort of a, <clears throat> a muddy yellow color and actually um, it looks a little green in the end. I'm not sure how well it stands out from the background. So the the paint really looked painty. Like I don't know what I was hoping for. I think I was hoping more the consistency that I get when I use the metallic. Um, but this you could see every stroke, every little puddle of color. But I did it anyway. <laughs> I 
I think that leaf on the left turned out the best. I'm not sure why the other ones didn't, but <clears throat> you don't see me, but I do do several coats of this. Let it dry a little bit and then do another coat just to try and even out the paint. All right. So I'll get that taped back down and then this is where it's going to go. It's still wet so I don't want to like, stick it on there and get paint everywhere. So I'm just going to use some matte medium on the back to glue that down. And that one is pr pretty simple. Looks like a lot, but it's just it's just the paper. <laughs> There's actually a little torn piece of um, the paper that I glued down, and that leaf just strategically covers it up. And I'll just use the colored paintbrush to push that down onto the paper so it sticks. <clears throat> and that's that's me adding more color to try and help it stand out. <laughs> All right, there is day 86. I don't know, do you like the way I pictured them there with all the others stacked behind it? Might work good for the thumbnail. I'm I'm thinking of redoing all my thumbnails because I'm lazy and I just let YouTube pick, which is not the best idea. <clears throat> Alright, this is day 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 eighty seven and that paper you might recognize the little triangle if you've been watching. Um Trying to see if I could see which day that was. I can see it. It was probably about 20, 20 or so days ago. I did the triangle one. But I'm using going to use that same paper and it's going to be my background this time. I mentioned, I did mention that Monday was day 100 and I had pulled out the blue, the packet of blue papers, and it had those circles, like the one I just cut out, and um, I just about automatically grabbed it, and then I thought, wait, let me go look, and I went and looked at all my days, and I think I have at least three, possibly more, with that exact stamp. Um, as a main circle focal. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I can't use it again on day 100. <laughs> so I didn't. <clears throat> I went rectangular. But this one, I am using my circle. And I need to find that block print. I probably put it somewhere logical. <clears throat> put all my block prints somewhere logical. And I used to have it on display on my shelf and I filed it away and now I'm like, where is it? I want to print with it. <laughs> and that is a piece of deli, pa deli paper so it's pretty thin. And then my bit of nature is that green leaf. That is a real leaf that's been dried. And it's all ripply along the edges. I thought it was really interesting how it dried like that. I think I matte medium it down. Yep. I'm pulling out my matte medium. <laughs> We're just going to use that to glue it down. I 
the um, leaf that I'm putting on top of it is a jelly printed leaf um, from my one or two times experience, experimenting with printing leaves. Right now is the season I should be doing that. Leaves are coming out. Oops, trying to get a little bit underneath there. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing to do on this one is just glue down that jelly printed leaf that I cut out. and hopefully not tear it apart as I do so. <laughs> that glue is pretty sticky. And that is day 87. <clears throat> okay, the next one is day 88 and I have the wrong date written on it. Um, and this is my packet of papers are the ones that are just like monochromatic or all just plain, no stencils. Some of them I really like. The ones that have a little bit of metallic, I don't know, maybe that's just because I like metallic. And I really like this particular one. Um, I think it just looks like a misty landscape. And those black things are rocks in the water, maybe, or some sort of formations. Of course, I always, I always see landscapes in abstracts. I don't know about about the rest of you, but I, I do quite a bit. <laughs> and I like blue better than orange, so blue side up. <laughs> and all of those pages, I, I painted on both sides. I figured I'd have more options that way. That is also another jelly printing video. Did I film that one? I might not have filmed that one because I thought it would be boring. So, yeah, probably not on that one. And I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do next because I only left out a little bit of paper. And you didn't see, but I punched out some holes and... Um, actually cut some rings around some of them and, and have this little piece of dried plant and figured that would be that would be it now what do you think about that composition it's a little different is it too too off balance I was going to stick some of those circles on the opposite side, but I didn't like them there, so, um, yeah, I just stay with the circles along the plant. And sorry about the barking dog. <clears throat> he barks at everything. He barks at the birds in the sky. <laughs> And again, gluing it down with some matte medium. put the glue on the plant rather than on the papers so that it doesn't affect what what's in the background because there's some metallic in there I know you can't really see it I'm not even sure if you can see it in the picture at the end but um, yeah there's some metallic there and I didn't want it to ruin it Then I'm just going to use the glue stick to um, 
glue the circles. And I just had them circle one of the leaf leaves on the stem of the plant. I thought that would make sense. For whatever reason. <laughs> so there is day 88. Then the last one is super quick. This is day 89. And I'm, I'm thinking it's my favorite for this batch. Um, this is a piece of deli paper that was used to clean the stencils and clean the jelly plate and it's got a lot of interesting stuff on there but when you tear it down it's got a nice little curve a little bit of a composition and so this one's really simple it's just this piece of paper and the bit of nature and guess what the bit of nature is rocks <laughs> Um, I would say pebbles. They're really small. <clears throat> but it was really simple. came together really easy. And I happen to have these fun little smooth rocks from the ocean. And I really like how this one turned out. You'll have to let me know again. I love hearing which one from this batch is your favorite. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And I do have these in a playlist if you've missed any and you'd like to see what other ones I've created. They are all in the playlist. I'll try to remember to link that below. <clears throat> or you can find it on my YouTube channel. Because, like I said before, I'm very bad <clears throat> at updating my description box. And I'm using the Gorilla Glue. But I hope you have liked this and um, I hope you come back for more. I've got two more episodes at least for my 100 day project because of the length of the videos. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks for watching.